Part two. How far is too far? I want you to ask yourself that. How far is too far? If you're an employee, where some of the things you say, or some of the things you see, or some of the things we post, you take a look at it and say, We don't want you representing us because you said some stuff way back in your youth that you shouldn't have said or it won't fly today. My prime example of that is the BS that Kevin Hart went through. Alright? How many people have lost their job because in their private life they get a little tipsy? They get a little wild. They got that camera, selfie, flash, boom. How far is too far? Here in Virginia, this came across my top buzz as I pick up this stick or whatever the hell this thing is. Looks like a watch thing. A, a, a teacher in Virginia, I don't know what city, but it's here in Virginia. He got fired for not identifying a transgender student as transgender. If you just watch part one of this, How Far Is Too Far, then you've seen how well I defended the young 16-year-old who committed suicide just this week. Uh, I talked about the young Asian girl who hung herself from being bullied. Now, I'm not being a hypocrite, but what I'm going to say is kind of hypocritical about this teacher who's suing uh, the school that fired him for not using the transgender thing. Okay, I have nothing but the utmost respect for people who live the alternative lifestyle. And I have made this mistake before with transgender people too. So that does not give you the right to not give me a job because I don't have transgender radar. Alright? I can't look at someone and tell if they are a boy or a girl just by looking at it. There are some pretty men out here that look like they could pass for women. And there are some uh, not so attractive women that can pass for men. And this goes in all communities, normal, straight, whatever you want to call yourselves, whatever you identify with. You can't help what God gives you. You have to do the best you can with what you got. So this teacher's gotten fired because he didn't use transgender when talking to a child. Now, I don't know the whole story. It's on my timeline on Facebook, so if you guys can find it, knock yourself out. But I do know this. Kevin Hart went through some crap because he did some um, off-word stuff that messes with the alternative lifestyle community. Not too long back, almost a year ago, maybe a year ago, a transgender person went off in a GameStop and kicked the display and it caused a big uproar and a lot of the transgender community turned their back on this person. You know, if you're not respected in your own community, then you're not respected. I was just blown away. I made a video about it. I don't remember what the hell I said about it, but, you know, they both could have dealt with that in a different manner. You know, the young guy calling the transgender person sir when it was clearly did on the outside. He saw a man in a pink shirt and blue jean shorts or whatever. And the man kept saying, ma'am, I understand that. I respect that. But at the same time, he has to realize he's dealing with a 19-year-old kid or a 22-year-old kid or... An 18-year-old kid might have been 16, and when you are at a store or at a counter, it's not like you're wearing a name tag. The person behind the counter's employer has told them, did you call people sir or you call them ma'am? I can take my hair and put it in that same position that that transgender person was wearing. You know, the samurai doohickey thingy. And I'm pretty sure that if I shave all this crap off, put on a dress, and I walk into GameStop, someone would probably say, Ma'am, I would not do that in a GameStop here in Charlottesville because every GameStop in Charlottesville knows who the hell I am. I've been to damn near every one of them, except for the one out there by um, Sakura. Maybe I have been there too. Not sure. Don't want to lie. I may have been there. I'm not going to swear to it though. But, you know, when, when it comes down to that kind of thing, 
you have to understand that um, it's just by looking at someone, you can't honestly identify their gender. It's the same thing if I go into a room with a few Asian people. I can't just automatically assume that everybody in there is Chinese or Japanese. I can say that they're Asian, and as offensive as that might have just sound, it would be true. I cannot identify every Asian by their look. I can't. I can only say that, you know, we as people, we have gone far beyond the accelerated need of how we deal with each other. How far is too far? What does it take for us to grow up and address these issues? It's the same thing with race. How far is too far? This teacher is suing to get money because he lost his job for not identifying a student as transgender. There have been people who have been fired from their job, from things they've done when they were like 20 years old, and here they are at 30 and 40, and some employer has got a raw hair up his ass and decides, well, I don't want you working for us. And now I can find a legal loophole to get you out because of the lack of empathy, because of the lack of understanding, because of the lack of, I didn't know that, that was a crime, and I thought that your First Amendment right was freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is great, as long as you don't borderline slander anybody. Which tends to be a problem. If you guys are seeing me, I'm having a computer issue. Anyway, we, we have to be more than willing to take the good with the bad. We have to be more than willing to accept the fault that is man. We are human. We make mistakes. We don't have special powers like the X-Men or Spider-Man. My spider senses don't tingle when I walk into a room and I can't just go, this guy's gay, this girl's a lesbian, this person is a woman trapped in a man's body, or this is a man trapped in a woman's body. I can't do that. I can't look at you and point that out. I'm not one to do a lot of videos on insulting races or sexual orientations and stuff like that, but I do do a lot of videos on what I believe to be factual shit on how we need to address things like racism and this whole gender bender thingy and all the other events and to having things come back to bite you in the ass, which is not who you are at the moment that it bites you in the ass. They um, recently said something about Dave Chappelle. For everybody who's not at the speed, I don't remember exactly what it was, but they were saying something about Dave Chappelle's Netflix special. Now, I can't remember if he had said some things that were, like, homophobic, but I'm going to tell you, um, a comedian, they pointed something out that's very important. And I don't know if you guys remember him, but I remember him. His name is Carlos Mancina. And Carlos Mancina made a very important point, and I'm going to end this video with that and have a part three because I had to go walk the play dog. Carlos Mancina said that if you can't tell white jokes about white people to white people and you can't tell black jokes to black people and Spanish jokes and Asian jokes to Spanish and Asian people who are your friends, then they are not your friends. If you are not comfortable telling racist jokes in front of a crowd of those races that you are insulting, then it's an equal opportunity offender. No. And here's the other thing about that, you know, if you like your comedian, because I love Margaret Show, I love Carlos Messina, and if you don't love Eddie Murphy, that's just because you're young. If you don't like Chris Rock, if you don't like um, Kevin Hart, it's just because you're young or you're overly sensitive. But these people made a living by saying things that are extremely offensive. It's what made them rich. It's what made them famous. It's how... They make a living. Most of the things that comedians say, and this is where it ends right here, most of the things that comedians say are borderline smacking you in the face with some truth. Think about that shit. Because a lot of things that Dave Chappelle said in a couple of his videos about how 
some white people be confessing things they shouldn't be confessing. They do. And some of those white people get away with that crap. Some black people confess things they shouldn't be confessing, and they get away with it. And sometimes they don't. But see, when a black person confesses to something and they don't get away with it, it becomes a big racist conglomerate. It's the same thing with an Asian. It's the same thing with a Mexican. Racism doesn't become a problem unless it's a black and white issue or any other race being confronted by a white person. The white person that's doing the job, which is probably a cop, he's probably not even a racist. He probably goes home to a black wife or an Asian wife or a black, Asian, or white husband, depending on what their ethnicity and their sexual orientation is. But we don't take this shit into consideration. It's the same thing when you see all these videos where you catch the cops doing wrong, but you don't catch how they got there. And then you catch the end. The cop may have not known it was doing wrong, but they know they're being filmed. And then we have other videos where, you know, we catch smart asses who somehow had nothing better to do with their time but go read all these law books that are on the books and push the limits of the cops. It's a two-way street, you know. If you're going to provoke the cop with the law, because a lot of cops don't really know what's on the law book. They know their 10 points that they're supposed to enforce that is enforceable by law, by their authority. However, there's a lot of laws that they don't know that they are even supposed to enforce. And then there are people who will take two weeks and read every law that they can find and this isn't just black people I've seen white people do it too so I'm not gonna like discount anybody I haven't seen Asians do it yet but I'm sure they're probably thinking about it I've seen black guys and white guys drive cars and pull over or get pulled over by cops rather and tell the cops that I don't have to give you my license because I'm not driving the car I am a passenger, or I am a, um, what the hell did he say? It wasn't a passenger, but it was something else, in the, the like of passenger. And, oh, I think he said I'm a traveler, so I can't, I can't be arrested because I'm traveling. I'm not driving, but I'm traveling. Yep, they're behind the driver wheel. And then there's the other guy, and um, this is a white guy. He probably was the, the closest one to probably legally being right. And um, because you do have the right to remain silent, and the cop asks them a question, he says, I don't answer questions. You guys should Google some of that stuff. You'll get a good laugh, because I got a good laugh. I don't know if I would be so um, aggressively trying to pull this off, because there are some cops that just doesn't care. And those are the cops you have to worry about, because there's good and bad cops, man. The world needs to grow up. So again, how far is too far? I'll make the third video when I come back from walking the dog. Thank you for watching.